Hi everyone, good morning and buenos dias. My name is Leslie Isavalio and I'm a junior public relations major here at Southern Adventist University. And this year I'm studying abroad in Argentina. So come along with me today to see what a day in the life of an abroad student in Argentina is like. So today my first class is at 10.30, so we have a little bit of time to head on to breakfast and see a little bit of what campus looks like. So now, so now I'm heading to the first class of the day, which is conversation. Oh, I found some other fellow ACA Hello. students. <laughs> Hello, Southern. Hello, Hi. Southern. Welcome to the takeover. We hope you guys enjoy. Welcome to ACA Argentina. Welcome to Argentina. And we have conversation with our favorite professor, Dr. Aroldo. Hola, hola, como están, chicos? Bueno, tengo clases. The conversation ahora con el mejor grupo de ACA. Yeah. 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 El mejor <laughs> grupo de ACA. Y muchos de ellos son de Southern. ¿Sí? sí. Claro, todos son de no. Southern. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> perdón, 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 perdón. No. Él, es de, él es de Andrews. Sí, él también. Ok, y Chris también es de Andrews. Pero la mayoría, tenemos un grupo, we have a big, big group of people of students from Southern this year and they are great people, great students. They're all doing a very good job here. So now now we have our conversation class. So that's enough. All right, two hours of conversation done and we're out. Oh look another ACA Hello. and Southern student. Yeah. yeah. Oh okay. Hey, Thanks, where, where are you coming from? Oh, I just had a, a pasantia internship where I basically had a shadow of a doctor. Another great opportunity of going here in Argentina. Highly recommended for all those listening. Wow. Um, it's great. It's fun. See ya. Thanks, JT. <laughs> So in between lunch and classes, I have some free time. So I thought I'd come on here and put a little question box on the next slide if anyone has any questions about sitting here in Argentina or like the ACA Adventist Colleges Abroad program or even Southern. I'm 5,000 miles away, but I'd love to answer any questions about Southern too. So I'll put that on the next slide. Okay, so here in Argentina, in Tres Rios, we're kind of going through a heat wave right now. So I'm here with my friend Eddie, and Hi. we're gonna go into town and get some ice cream before class. <laughs> I'm here in the ACA lobby, and they have pictures from like every single year with all the different groups in Machu Picchu and at the waterfalls at Iguazu. And it's just so fun to see throughout the years all the groups and the travels. And then there's a couple more over here. But it's so cool. Hi everyone, just got back from dinner with some friends, so I'm going to take some time to answer the questions that I've been receiving. This one says, what was it like adjusting to life on a new campus and what got you through? So adjusting to life on campus, it was pretty different at first, but not that different. It's also another Adventist campus, so it's similar in ways that like food is a little bit similar. And I think what helped the most was people, like people were really friendly when I got here and they still are, but I mean like the first week a lot of i met a lot of really nice friends and that really helped me get through i also have i'm blessed to have family in the area so having them close by also really helped me adjust to like new life like life here on the different campus and life in argentina um but definitely the people was meeting new people and making new friends they were all super helpful in helping me adjust to life here 
So this person asks, what kind of classes are you taking there? So with ACA, there are three core classes, composition, conversation, and grammar. And then there are other elective classes, like there are relig there's religion options, there is folklore, history, translation, interpretation, like I showed earlier, um, and some other classes that you can choose, but everyone has to take grammar, um, composition and conversation and all the classes not just those th core three they're all in Spanish so it's really helpful to be able to hear the professors talk and to um, talk in Spanish in class and do homework in Spanish as well but yeah it's a mix of electives and those three core um, so that's really fun and the professors are great and the classes are really really good too so why did I pick Argentina? Great question. So ACA has a lot of options. Um, they have schools in Spain and France and Italy. And for me, I definitely wanted to learn Spanish or to improve my Spanish. And the options for Spanish are Spain and Argentina. And with Argentina, my mom is from Argentina. Shout out to my mom. Um, and so I have family here and it just has a special place in my heart. And I had heard a lot of great things about the program as well and from other people who had come here in the past and they spoke really highly of AC Argentina. And yeah, it was just kind of the go-to choice for me um but and also just to really get thrown into not thrown in but like immersive um experience of like learning spanish and getting to talk to people and like have classes all in the other language do you have to know spanish before going great question so no technically you don't there in the aca program aca argentina at least there are three levels for those core classes I mentioned earlier, like composition, grammar, and conversation. And so the levels are intermediate, advanced one, and advanced two. So when the students first get here, like our very first week, we had a little placement test, which is basically conversating with the professors and they were able to gauge what level they believed we could what we would be able to do the class in. Um, so the first week you're we able to Kind of see where you can fit and there's also always time to change classes so if you want to try a different level and then change after that's also fine too another really great question how do you apply for aca so if you tap on the link right here it'll take you to the website for aca and it has all the information about the different schools the dates and the prices and the link to apply and i'll also tag the ACA account on Instagram so you can look at the pictures if you'd like and contact them if there's any other questions but those two links would be the best way I think to apply and look learn more about ACA. On the next Instagram story I'm going to be putting a reel um, that's like a little mini tour of the campus here in Argentina so you can look at that on the next slide and see a little bit of what campus is like. It's not the whole campus but it's a really good uh, sneak peek kind of. <laughs> Hola, soy Nata. Hola, soy Pache. Y hoy te vamos a contar sobre el Tour WAP. Seguinos. No sé si sabías, pero nuestra universidad cuenta con un servicio de visitas guiadas. Está a tu alcance. Para vos, que estás por elegir. Is travel a part of the ACA program? Yes, it is. So in the academic year, like September to May, we have four trips. We went to Buenos Aires in October, to Machu Picchu, Peru in December, to the waterfall. Alright everyone, that's a wrap on my